How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with a different kind of video than what most of you are probably used to and that is in Roblox's own Adopt Me. So as many of you have seen when tuning into live streams, I like to play other games besides just Bloxburg. And while I usually just make videos on doing speed builds, I wanted to share kind of what I've been doing in Adopt Me and show a build that I've been working on inside of the Hollywood home. I think this home was actually added probably about two months ago. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it, but if not, I will go ahead and show you guys some existing photos and kind of show you what it looks like. So you can see what the lobby space looks like. You can see kind of what the balcony looks like, the big two-story lobby space. You can see the main stage area and then kind of check out the before and after when we walk through here. So anyways, we will go ahead and head inside and I will show you guys what I have been working on. So while I was playing with some fans, it was actually you guys who suggested I should make a video on this showing it when it was all done. I think originally I had it closed off. So here is the big unveiling of it. So right when you walk inside here, this is kind of the lobby space. This is a ticket booth. So you can come in and get your tickets for the show or whatever's going on at the time. Of course, they're not required. You're always welcome to hang out. And then up front here, we actually have restrooms. And before we get too far into it, at the end of the video, I will also show you guys kind of some of my building techniques that I figured out in this game to make these custom structures and whatnot, because I'm sure it's very different than those of you who have played Bloxburg where you're drawing walls and such. This one, you have to go a little more creative, which is kind of fun as well. So anyways, these are the bathrooms up front. We got two sides, so there's plenty of space for people to get their needs up in the game and just hang out. Although I guess it's really only pets needs you need to worry about. So this is my Christmas tree. This is actually from the recent holidays update they've had going on. You can collect ornaments and toss them on there. I've seen some people have crazy amounts of spirit, which is really, really funny. So if you guys look and kind of compare this from the before photos that I showed. So this is the two story space. So this is what I've done with it. I wanted to make it kind of a concession stand area and then have some dining space as well. So you can grab a bite to eat before the show, can hang out. You can grab food and stuff for your pets. I'm sure that when we're on servers, people will be hanging out in here making all kinds of snacks. You can make pizza and donuts. And then there's also water over here, so you can always get free cups of water. Gotta stay hydrated, you know how important that is. So before we go into the main area, I'm gonna kind of show you guys the amenity spaces, as I am calling them. So these are kind of just the little extra rooms. I originally really wasn't too sure what I wanted to do with these, but this is what I came up with. So when you walk in, this is kind of like a little area where you can get from one side to the other and yes these are couches that i use to surround the rounded kind of booth style couch seating i just kind of want a little lounge space that people could hang out with in here there's actually additional space back behind these walls i didn't know what to do with this big room so there you go you can kind of see back there if you guys have any ideas of what i could add maybe drop them down below always open to suggestions because I want this to be a space where when I'm streaming or just hanging out in this game, because I know a lot of my friends like to play this as well, and I like to come on here and hang out with them. Also, while I'm thinking of it, got to show you guys what I've got. So I've got a few polar bears. And yes, I was trading for these like crazy. There was someone who was really kind and actually traded me two of them. That was Solitaire Pluto, so thank you so much. As some of you guys know from previous Q&A videos, I love polar bears, one of my favorite animals. Actually, my top favorite animal, not just one of them. But I like frogs as well. Don't have any frogs. I know that's something I get asked a lot. So back here, this is a kind of photo booth and screenshot area. When I am playing these games, I know a lot of you ask for screenshots. And yes, I made a line. I know that nine times out of 10, you guys are just gonna try to jump through, but I thought it was at least worth a shot 
to make it somewhat organized so you can come through here. Hopefully people will actually wait, but I'm not going to hold my breath and wait on it. But anyways, once you come through and wait in here, I use these little signs to kind of make a note here. And then we'd be able to take a screenshot together in this space. I tried to make it look like an actual photo booth with the dark walls and whatnot. So I'm actually going to go through this exit space over here. So you can just exit out this way. And I'm going to cut back through here. Act like you didn't see this X surprise when we come through from this way. So this is the pet suites area. So as you guys know, one of the largest components of this game now are the pets. So you can actually come in here. Oops, I forgot to put a light in this one. We'll go to the next one where it's a little brighter. I'll add a light to that later. So inside these, you can use this to take care of your pets, make sure they're fed and all their stats are up. You can take a bath, let them sleep. I've just got a bunch of these. I've got six of them. Hopefully that's enough for people to get their pets needs up and keep earning money while we're all playing and hanging out together. And then this is just kind of the upper floor here. And so I didn't have any before photos of these spaces, but basically it was just an open room, this wall, all the way to this wall. And I added, let me show you guys if I can grab them. So I added all these different pieces and these are made out of little bricks up here. And like I said, at the end of the video, I will try to show you guys kind of what that looks like. And then these stairs as well. But I'll show you guys some techniques that I've kind of figured out and decided to use along the way. So we'll head back downstairs now, back through the concession area. And I'll show you guys the part that I am most excited about. And really what I thought was a great opportunity. Like usually I don't really do a whole lot of building in this game, but when I saw this house, I knew it was a must have. And I wanted to see kind of how I could push the envelope for building in this game. So welcome to my auditorium theater. So I tried to make it look kind of like a talk show setup. And so if you guys look at the before photos, all of these different panels and whatnot were placed in here. I tried to make it extremely custom and somewhat thought out to make it where I could have everyone in here hanging out. And then I even added this here so you can see all of this is added. Once again, a whole bunch of different pieces. It took hours and hours and hours to place all of these, but hopefully it was worth it. Go ahead and cash out there. So if we go upstairs here, this is kind of the audio and lighting control booth, like what you would see in an auditorium like this. So you can sit up here, someone can be running the show, helping me out. And then I've also got music back here so I can set music that's playing along the way. Oops, I just kind of walked through the door. Oopsie. So anyway, you can see back here, it's now daytime, so it's a little more light. So this is what we're looking at. One of the things that I really thought was fun was making these kind of floating panels up here for the lights. I wanted something like what you would see. Usually they're used for acoustics and auditoriums. So that's where those come into play. And then I want something to use for the lights. Those are actually like upside down. I think they're called flag stands. I might be wrong. They're from like the Royal, Royal stuff. So we'll go up onto the stage here. So once again, a ton of pieces. I wish there was a way to see how many pieces I actually placed just in this one plot. I would really, really like to know that. So this is the actual stage. I can sit up here and if I've got someone streaming with me or someone wants to come up here and take a photo if it's not actually a stream or whatever, you can just hang out. I'd like to use this to do some Q&A stuff during streams or even while I'm just visiting and playing with you guys. I've been trying to turn my joins on more frequently, so hopefully some of you have had the opportunity to come hang out, play some games with me. So now we will go to the backstage area. So this is kind of like the dressing and little lounge room. You can do your hair and makeup here. Got to make sure you look fresh for the show. And then there's also a bathroom back here for the guest or whoever's getting ready. And then this is like a little lounge space. I thought this was a really cool kind of furniture piece. Just having an aquarium underneath the TV and using that as the stand. Got a little kitchen. 
got to make sure you're all fueled up and full before we go out and do the show. And then once again, another little room back here for someone to get ready in. Kind of the dressing room. Sweet. You get the idea. It's the same as the other one. And so you can kind of see it from down here, but now we will go upstairs to the, I guess you'd call it like the party balcony, almost like a nightclub. So we'll head up there. And then I think that will be just about everything in here. Once again, go past the little concession stand. And this will be where we party and have fun before we switch games or if we just want to hang out, dance, talk. I didn't really know how to decorate up here. I guess I could add like some more chairs or whatnot, but I at least put the piano here so someone can sit up here and play beautiful music for everyone. So we will go in here. So this is kind of the lounge space. You can come up here, kind of chill with people. You can grab a seat at any one of the little booths. And then over on this side is where I've got the DJ booth. So someone can be up here jamming out on music, dancing away, other, People can be hanging out down here on the dance floor and then down below is the space that we were just in so you can see all of that stuff down there and I think that is really all of it so yeah that is my custom Hollywood home my big theater and something that I thought was a lot of fun so Let's find a quick spot that I can show you guys some of this. We'll go just down into the main auditorium space and I'll show you a few quick tips and tricks that I have used for building a lot of this. So I'd say by far, we'll go into edit mode here. By far, the most common piece I've used is called the barrier. So you can grab the barrier plate. So there are two different types of pieces that I use a lot. There are the barrier plate and then the floor plates. And the floors actually come in different thicknesses. So the barriers, as you can see, are what I use for a lot of walls. So you're probably wondering, well, how'd you do that? So the barriers can stick basically on their bottom face to any surface. And when you rotate them, they go this way. Whereas floors, as I'll show you, are the opposite. They stick on the largest face rather than the smaller sides. So one of the things that's really useful and how I did a lot of these really large structures was basically <laughs> trying to link these together. So it'd be something like this by the time that I wanted to get a structure out here. And basically just doing a bunch of that. And it was a lot of different deleting and moving things and if you just place things and you haven't left your house and whatnot yet. You can still sell things for full price. So you can kind of use them as like temporary construction pieces. And it has become very, very common for me to use those. So I'll also show you the floor pieces. So there's three different thicknesses here, the thin, the medium, and the thick. So these ones here, I use the thick as you can see, and I want these to kind of give a little bit of depth on the walls. So with these, as I mentioned, you can see how these stick to the largest face. So these are useful when you want to span a larger area. Sometimes I will place a barrier, and this is how I did it over the pet suites that you saw. So you could put like a barrier here, and if you wanted to cover more space, then you can come underneath, delete that, and things will stay floating so they don't have to remain connected to support it or whatever. So you can have things like that. And one of the things that's kind of fun is when you select something, it actually goes where your player doesn't interact with it and collide. So you can go right through it, which is funny because up in my front entry when I was building this and I kind of wanted it to be a surprise, that's how I would get through. I had some walls to keep people out and then I went through this. So yeah, those are kind of my tips and tricks. I guess one last thing before I go is the brick. So I think this was added in a recent update. I want to say it came out with the tropical things, if I'm thinking of the right category. So you can just use this as a smaller piece. I use this to kind of form around some of the doors 
I'll show you guys out here. As we're heading out, so you can see some of these right here, the little bricks. And then these here, those are actually just barrier pieces that I place in a different color to kind of give a little accent. And then these are, well, I guess I can't click on it because of the way. But this is actually a sign and you can change the text on it. So that's what I use for a lot of the labels. So anyways, like I said, I know it is very different compared to my normal video. I hope this is something that you guys enjoyed. I know some of you have asked me to make some videos on other Roblox games as well. I don't know how often I'll do it. I wouldn't say it's an all the time thing. I definitely like created Bloxburg content, but I wanted to show you guys kind of some ways to build in a different game as well, because I know a lot of you guys play this game as well as some of my friends. So just wanted to show you guys, hopefully it is something you enjoyed. I know the holidays are coming up. Whatever holidays you celebrate, I hope they are very happy ones. You guys get to spend some time with your families. I will be uploading a, another holiday video soon, right before the start of the new year. So I hope you guys look forward to that. And if you're looking for ways to interact with me, know when I am recording videos or when I am playing games, make sure to join my Discord server. The link is down in the description below. I will also put the code here on the screen. And if you guys like what you see in my content, make sure to subscribe so that you know exactly when things are coming out. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you everyone.